up, folks, and welcome to Kiefer Good TV. Today's video is all about war. We're finding out if these cereal bars taste just like the normal cereal and if they're actually good and comparing them, that's a crazy war in itself. We got eggnog on deck finding out who's the true champion. And then we got two cereals, two countries going head to head. Keep it locked. Here we are, got my guest star in the house, using his taste buds today because uh, all these bars got whey protein in it and I, I, I don't eat whey, but this boy does and he, and he is going to tell us all if these Redcon 1 bars actually taste like the cereals. These are all breakfast ready bars, they all have their own correlating cereals. So we're going to see if they actually taste good, if they taste like the cereals, if there's something y'all should buy. If they are, there's a link down, the first thing in the description, and you can buy these and you can get a discount on them. Well, but if they don't, then just ignore that. But hopefully they taste good. We'll see. So the first cereal bar that we got is Apple Blast. These are all Redcon 1 products. Obviously, Apple Blast is like Apple Jacks. Here we go. By the way, since I didn't even introduce him, this is Burke Skolnicki. He is a sophomore at Norway in high school. He's a beast of an athlete. He plays football. I train him. He's he's going to be something, folks. He's a freshman. He ain't a sophomore. By the way. So we got the Apple Jacks. Put the Apple Jacks up in there so you remember what Apple Jacks taste like. Yeah. Now, you can eat the bar. This is better. It's better? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. So out of 10, what do you rate that bar? <laughs> 10. 10? Mm -hmm. Oh snap. Well, there we go. The Apple Blast bar is better than the actual cereal. So we're one for one. First one was a success. So the second one is the comparable one to Lucky Charms. This one is called Rainbow Breakfast. All right, Burke. Try your rainbow breakfast. I mean, Lucky Charms. Right here. Yeah. All right, try this. One more bite. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -mm. No? Not as good. Not as good. Mm -mm. Like, is it good, though? But just, but, or is it just, like, okay? It's okay. Okay. So, out of ten, what would you give it? Six or seven. Okay. So, we're getting down in the average range, folks. So, the Lucky Charms one's kind of a uh-uh. Okay. Alrighty. Next one, folks, it's called Crunchy Kernel. Crunchy Kernel. I'm assuming Crunchy Kernel means Rice Krispies. Thank you, Zach, for this uh, Rice Krispie box, by the way. So, try out your Rice Krispies. It's Rice Krispies. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, and try out your bar. Yeah? Mm. Tastes like Rice Krispies? Mm-hmm. Tastes better than Rice Krispies? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's almost like a Rice Krispie treat, even. Yeah. Okay. So what would you give it out of a 10? Probably a 9. Ooh. Got a 9. So the Crispy Kernel bars, 9 out of 10. Still not better than the Apple Blast, right? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> the Apple Blast is still the champion so far. Next one, folks, we have Fruity Cereal. Now, I wasn't sure if it was, was Fruity Pebbles or if it was actual Fruit Loops, but when you see the little picture, 
there's like little chunks of like the cereal in there. So I was like, well, that's got to be Fruit Loops, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, Redcon 1. Bam. But here we go. Cleanse your palate with Fruit Loops. And then try out the fruity bar bar. Mm. Oh, sorry, taking two bites before he said a word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, better than the Apple Blast. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that's a 10 out of 10. 12. <laughs> good. Freaking good. Okay, folks, so what's that called? Fruity Cereal. The Fruity Cereal one is a 12 out of 10. It is the new champion. Next up, folks, Cinnamon Crunchy Bites. Obviously comparable to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, I got the Malto Meal Cinnamon Toasters because I personally think the cinnamon toasters taste better than the normal cinnamon toast crunch fight me in the comment section if you don't believe me but nevertheless cinnamon toast crunch here we go Let's try that out yeah ctc oh yeah and here is the bar i got high expectations for this Hmm. <laughs> what you thinking over there? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. But not as good as the two. Yeah. One. But it's still alright. Yeah. It's worth eating. Yeah. For sure. Okay. So out of ten, what do you give it? Seven and a half. Okay. And it does taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Kind of. Okay. Okay, so y'all might have to tweak that flavor a little bit. Because you can't be messing up that classic. Can't do it. And the grand finale for these bars, we got Cocoa Krispies, which is the, well, Cocoa Krispies bar. That looks super chocolatey. I'm actually kind of disappointed, Kellogg's. Um, these Cocoa Krispies don't look too cocoa-y. We gotta talk about that. But nevertheless, try out the Cocoa Krispies. Is what it is. Try out the bar. What's that? That's really dark. That's so dark. I mean, I can smell that. Hey. <laughs> Good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Better than the other. Better than the, the reigning champion right now. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you can you can try the other one if you want to if you want to go back and forth. All right. Okay. We're gonna go in overtime. Yep. It's okay. We've done this before with all wars. Sometimes. This happens. This is better. Okay. So tell me what um you rate the, the Cocoa Krispies bar out of ten. Nine. So that's very viable, very eatable for sure. Um but what what's this one called again? Fruity cereal. Fruity cereal is the champion and I mean look at this bar though folks I mean there is a lot of little sprinkles up in there you can see the cereal bits in there I'm gonna stop touching it because I'm sure he's gonna want to eat all that my hands are clean wash your hands kids um but good stuff thank you so much Burke yep. he is a freshman I've got that wrong and uh follow him on Instagram his little things be right there and beyond that uh, buy these bars if you are looking for a protein bar um, that actually tastes like cereal that tastes good that has good ingredients from a company that you can actually trust uh, click the link below and uh, you can get a discount 
and uh, make sure you put my name in there on who referred you. Kiefer Enjoy the rest of Kiefer TV. Nobody knows how checks can do it. Let the milk splash right through it. Then hold the milk till your mouth gets to it. Checks marks the spot. Light crunch, little sweet. Simple as corn and rice and wheat. Looking for a taste of what the cereal's got. Checks marks the spot. Wholesome grain, low fat. Checks are great. That's that. Looking for a taste no other cereals got. Checks marks the spot. Checks marks the spot. Now from out of the blue, a totally new Kool-Aid flavor. New berry blue, it's coming at you. Blue. You'll get him too. Berry blue. Berry, 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 berry. New berry blue. Oh yeah. It's Kool-Aid Coolers, the box that's Wacky Wild Kool-Aid style. Kool-Aid Coolers, the box that's wacky. Kool-Aid Coolers, the box that's wild. Wacky Wild Kool-Aid style. Kool-Aid Coolers, Kool -Aid soft drink. Oh yeah. New Smurf Magic Berries, that fruity cereal with marshmallow stars will be marshmallowy mine! Gargamel took our cereal! It's a cinch with my marshmallow stars. You'll feel the pinch. Ouch! My marshmallow stars make everyone love New Smurf Magic Berry Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh. Yummy gummy Smurf, gummy goodies candy, fruity flavored and free, in each Smurf Magic Berry cereal box. Smurf Specialty. What is that? Come on, guys! Welcome aboard the Turtle Blimp! Does this thing actually work? Just watch! It's the Turtle's gigantic and wacky attack aircraft, the Turtle Blimp! Featuring pistol grip and wacky bombs with trigger release! Cowabunga! And of course, with the detachable Turtle Glider, the boys can drop in anytime for pizza or punch! From Playmates! It's Slinky, it's Slinky, for fun it's a wonderful toy. What walks downstairs a loner in pairs and makes a slinkity sound. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing, everyone knows. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, it's Slinky, it's slinky. for fun it's a wonderful toy. It's fun for a girl and a boy, it's fun for a girl and a boy. Get a Slinky in a size and color you like, in metal or plastic. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Have you entered my contest? Have you entered my giveaway? You realize I'm giving away a lot of cool stuff. Here, right around the holiday season, you can get your hands on Madden 20, NBA 2K20, headphones, a speaker, so many things. But you gotta enter the contest. Make sure you watch last week's episode of Keeperka TV. Follow the instructions uh, that I lay out there right in the beginning of the video in the description and in the first comment it's all right there but if you want to win some really cool stuff it's right there for the taking get it Ghostbusters! It's the real Ghostbusters firehouse playset Vagment our firehouse is haunted no way oh no I've been gooped he goes to the stadium the real Ghostbusters each sold separately assembly required hey buddy see anything weird it's Tombstone Tackle! Don't lose your head! Take a hike! There's a policeman! Oh, oh no! It's, it's X-Cop! Cop. I can't believe my eyes! Whoa! We're not scared! Woo! What's up, folks? Back at you here with another war of a video. We weren't expecting that. This is all wars. This whole episode, this is awesome. Now, something that I've loved my entire life. Even now, not eating meat and dairy. Eggnog. Eggnog. It's still a thing. Comment down below if you like eggnog. Comment down below if you hate eggnog. I've always been a big fan. So this is the dairy-free eggnog war. Let's go. We got almond breeze. Almond breeze. We have silk nog. Silk nog. And we have so delicious coconut milk holiday nog. Which one do you think is going to win? If I were to guess, I think it's going to be this one. Just because so delicious is well, so delicious. Everything that they make, dang it, is just wonderful. 
Which one do you think is going to win? What's going to come in first place? What's going to come in second place? What's going to come in third? That is the real question at hand. Let's get a nice little thumbnail picture. Boom. Okay. So let's try them in the same order that I presented them to you. Shake it all up. Do the almond breeze shuffle over here. Let's see. This one has 11 grams of sugar, so it should be okay. You can't have healthy eggnog, you know. It's one thing to be dairy free, but it's another thing. Don't. If you get eggnog and there does not a lot of sugar in it, that's not gonna taste good. I'm not drinking eggnog from my health. I'm drinking because it, it tastes good. Hmm. It smells custardy. It smells like eggnog. Let's go. Now this is almond milk. This almond breeze, obviously, by Blue Diamond Almonds. This one is actually pretty good. I would rock with this. I would be okay with this. It's not as thick as you're used to if you're coming into this dairy-free world just like, you know, just fresh out of the water. Um, it's not a stick, but the flavor is still there. Overall, I'd give this one a seven out of 10. So that one's just fine, just fine. Not great, but just fine. Now, let's try the Silk Nog. Now this one is Soy Nog. So, y'all already know that I have drink that silk, very vanilla, soy milk. So this one should be more up my alley, you would think. Um, this has 12 grams of sugar in it. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. I mean... The smell is there, but the Almond Breeze one's smell was more vivid. I can tell you that much. Okay, this one is, oh my gosh. I was already telling y'all how this one's not as thick. This one makes this one look as thick as peanut butter. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this is basically water. Holy crap. I mean, it doesn't taste like eggnog. It tastes like super watered down eggnog. Like if you're living on the struggle and you're like down to that last bit of eggnog or something and then your mom or dad would like pour water in it and then shake it up. I know people do that for ketchup. <laughs> I know people do that for a lot of stuff. That's what it tastes like somebody did for this. And I'm not a fan. Let me take one more drink just to make sure I don't understand. It has more calories than the almond milk one. It has more sugar. It's so much more watered down. This one, ugh, man. I don't understand. This one only gets a 2 out of 10. Not a fan silk. Like, I normally like what you do. For the most part, you can't be doing this to my eggnog. Mm -mm. Not a fan, dog. Not a fan at all. Your yogurts and your uh, nog. Nope. So here we are. This is the one I thought was going to win from the get-go. Maybe you thought so too. The So Delicious Holiday Coconut Milk Nog. This one has 15 grams of sugar. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this one has 90 calories. So this one, we've gone up in the calories and we've gone up in the sugar every single time right now. This one has coconut milk. Now their coconut milk yogurt, um, their coconut milk dairy-free yogurt, there's nothing that can even compare to it besides the Chobani yogurt um, when it comes to dairy-free yogurt. Just that's for free. But right now, we're in the midst of this Nog challenge, and I am thinking that this one's going to be good. Don't let me down, so delicious. Everything else that you do is really good. Mmm. 
Well, the smell is there. Um, again, it's not as vivid as the Almond Breeze one. The Almond Breeze one smell test won miraculously. Still smells somewhat like eggnog though. Ooh. Okay. It's, it's not as thin, not as watered down as the um, the silk brand. Not at all. Um, the flavor is there. Wow. I mean, it tastes like it should be having the most sugar and the most calories. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, again, it's not as thick as normal eggnog would be with, with dairy in it. But before I rate this, I need to try the almond milk one once again because I need something to compare this to and it's the closest thing. Wow, now that I smell this one and after smelling that, super similar, super similar. Oh. This one's still good. This one don't don't get me wrong. It's still it's still just fine. But it's like the rating goes down after you try this. Like trying this just by itself, it's I, I said it was a 7 out of 10. But after trying this, that rating goes down to like a 5. And this one absolutely the winner this one gets a 9 out of 10 and it's a 9 out of 10 based off of this is a dairy free eggnog based off of flavor based off of smell based off of consistency and being compared to these other two nogs this so delicious coconut milk holiday nog is absolutely the champion so hope you love this video I found this at Target. You can also get it at Whole Foods. Uh, just search it online. Um, when I searched it online, I found that Target had it at uh, more places than anywhere else. There's also a place here in Worcester, where I'm from, um, called Worcester Natural Foods. They normally get this in too. Good stuff though. Good stuff. I got the other ones at Target as well, but just pass those up. So we got a 9 out of 10, we got a 7 out of 10, or 5, whatever you want to call it. And then a two the champion the winner keep watching keep for good tv thank you so much for tuning in we're out of cinnamon toast crunch let's make more okay i'll make up a bunch i'll shake on cinnamon and sugar i'll give it crunch with my my whoops tastes just like cinnamon toast with a crunch it's part of this complete breakfast cinnamon toast crunch Leaving messages with Baker Notepads is fun and useful. One free and specially marked boxes. You can collect all three. Splinter the Rat taught them each the ninja arts. Donatello, master of the staff. War! Leonardo, the katana blade. My cut! Raphael, the salt. Don't this at home, kids! And Michelangelo, the new shackles. Radical uh, and muster of the willing pizza. Hey, who had the pepperoni and ice cream? From Playmates. Why is Alphabets fun to eat? Oh, it's a robot. There's a robot in my Alphabets. How does it taste? <laughs> Post Alphabets cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. It's time for Pictionary. Okay. Special Kids Edition Pictionary, free with specially marked boxes of Post Honeycomb and Alphabet cereals. Hey, so before you watch this upcoming segment, make sure that you go down in my description after this video is all over and go click subscribe to my guy, Ron's Food Review. He has all sorts of reviews, 
all the time. He's super consistent. And guess what? He's good at what he does, especially if you follow him on Instagram as well. You'll see all the things that he's into. And oh my gosh, the things that he creates. Got to watch his Instagram stories. But nevertheless, he sent me this box of Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch for this next segment. Straight from Canada. Straight from the depths of his heart. I appreciate you so much, brother. I hope everybody goes and subscribes to you because you do a really good job on your videos. You're super consistent. You keep it up because... You're definitely going places. But without further ado, let's watch another commercial and then get into the main event. Nothing like a nutritious breakfast powered by my Super Gold Crisp cereal. Ahoy, sugar bear. Thanks for bringing breakfast. Sorry, blubber bread. All you're getting is vitamin packed punch. I can't get enough Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with touch. <laughs> Now you can fry your aim with your own Sugar Bear Bumbling Bees Target yeah. Game, complete with Velcro, Target, and Dart. Free inside specially marked boxes of Super Golden Crisp cereal. The Shredder, sworn enemy of the turtles. It feels so good to be so bad. With his henchmen, the dreaded foot soldiers, the mutants Bebop and Rocksteady. What do I do with them? Destroy them! Oh, what turtle soup. Ninja turtles. From Playmates. Woo, here we are. Back at ya. Main event time, baby. This has been an awesome episode of Kibrika TV. There's been so many wars. I, I'm just pumped to actually get to this one. I hope y'all love the eggnog. I hope y'all love the protein bars. This one though, this one's near and dear to my heart. Because if you know me and if you've seen my top 10 cereal countdown, then you know that I love the Canadian version of birthday cake Fruit Loops. They were just better. They're phenomenal. They're better than any other cereal. They're my number one ever. Now, this war will feature Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch from America versus Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch from Canada. Now, as you can see, the boxes are way different. This one features the red with the stocking. And then Canadian version is blue, more of like an outdoorsy feel. They got little earmuffs and they're just like chilling outside. Now, the difference is this one actually has like a back to it. This one has like a little game you can play. This one just flips it around and boom, we got some French going on up in here. <laughs> so, when you open the boxes, are they any different? Like, right off the rip. I don't see much difference. I haven't even poured the milk yet because I don't want the taste to get like saturated and just messed up. So right off the rip, there is no visible difference between these two. The Canadian ones actually might be slightly smaller. Hmm. Oh no, it just, it just depends on the ones. There's no visible difference. There's no visible smell difference. There's, um, yeah, visible smell difference. Can you can you see something that smells different? Anyways, we're gonna pour this milk into the American bowl and into the Canadian bowl. And we're gonna find out who is the winner. Comment down below which one you think is going to take home the crown. And comment down below which one, um, if any, is going to take on the crown because they might be a tie. They might taste exactly the same. So comment that down now. Okay, so here we are. Let's try this American version first. Where do you know they taste good? You know this. I just want to know if they taste different. And if so, which one's better? And once again, thank you for the bowl post. Y'all are awesome.
Hmm. This is the Canadian version here. Interesting. Folks, I hate to tell it to you like this. I truly do. Hold on. Wait, wait, I just have to take one more bite. Just one more, just to make sure. Yeah. The winner of this war. The winner of this war. Both of them. Both of them is a winner. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Sometimes these cereals do not taste the same at all. Um, from country to country. Cinnamon or sugar cookie toast crunch. Exactly the same. The only difference is the box. And personally, I like this box better just because it seems more creative. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I just like these little dudes all chilling outside a little bit better than these dudes chilling in the little stocking cup. But I wish maybe they could just have both versions of both boxes in both countries. Like that would be cool. Have two different kind of boxes. Why not? Nevertheless. We have a tie. I hear a tie is like kissing your sister. So I, I, I didn't expect this today, but we had, to, we had to find out. We had to find out. So I hope everybody has a phenomenal rest of your weekend. Comment down below one fun thing that you're going to do with the remainder of your weekend. I wanna hear about it, let's talk about it. Join the Kiefer Club. Just do it. Join that Kiefer Club. Have you entered my giveaway? Last week's episode of Kiefer TV, I had a giveaway. Have you entered that yet? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch last week's episode of Kiefer TV. You can really win some really cool things. It's just go do it. Like and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.